one of the things that is most missing that you would see in a Christian bookstore, and that is... Hello, Saints. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Jeff. I am a Christian pastor exploring everything I can about the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And what I enjoy doing on this channel is comparing and contrasting the similarities and the differences between the LDS Church and Midwest Christianity, which is what my background is in. And I was recently somewhere where these similarities and differences were really clear to me, and it was in an LDS bookstore. I wanna take you into one and show you what I mean. So, let's go to Utah. Okay, I just asked permission to like film in here and they were like, yeah, sure. Like how come everybody can't be this nice? So that's good. Let's see what we can find. It's super weird to be a pastor who has a, a master's in biblical studies um, to not know any of the names of the authors. Normally when I walk into a Christian bookstore, I recognize all these author authors. Um, I don't know who Tad Callister is, I don't know who Robert Millet is, I don't know who Blund is, I don't know any of these people, but LDS authors are pretty proficient from what I understand, and they put out quite a bit of material. This is an area that's going to be very different, because in a Christian bookstore, you're not going to have Books of Mormon. So under the scripture section, the fact that there's Book of Mormon, not something you would see in my context. A lot of Christians don't realize that um, LDS members actually have what's called the Quad. It's not just one scripture. They believe in the Bible. They believe in the Book of Mormon. They also believe in Doctrine and Covenants, which is teachings of the church, and also the Pearl of Great Price, which is other teachings and doctrines. Something you'll see here in a LDS bookstore that you won't see in a Christian bookstore is the history of the saints, uh, the history of the church. Um, the rest of Christianity, we don't uh, embrace this as part of the history of the church. It's maybe part of the history of the church in America as a group of individuals that um, believe the teachings of Joseph Smith, but you're not gonna see the uh, amount of information as it pertains to the history of the LDS church in a non-LDS Christian bookstore. They believe in Santa. It's okay, so do I. talked about before how the temple is an important icon in the LDS church. So there's an entire section of these canvas paintings of temples. And though in Protestant Christianity, you're not going to get a lot of ties to like physical structures like this that people would hang in their houses. But in the Catholic church, however, um, cathedrals and things of that nature have a pretty strong uh, visual tie to worship and you'll, you'll probably see some of that in um, Catholic families' homes or in different Catholic, maybe even bookstores, cathedrals, famous ones from around the world or in specific communities. Hymns. We both have hymns. I don't think they're the same songs because there's a temple or that might be a tabernacle. I think it's a temple on there. So probably different songs, but we do have hymns. You're probably not gonna hear these artists on K-Love or what we call in St. Louis Joy FM, the Christian radio stations. But there's a whole genre of music and performers of people from the LDS church uh, singing worship songs and hymns. So 
the movies too represent the history and the heritage of the church. So Carthage, um, if you watch one of my other vlogs, this is where Joseph Smith was actually um, killed in Illinois. And uh, dramatic representations of the Book of Mormon. You see a lot of these types of things, stories culturally tied to Christianity, but not LDS in a Christian bookstore. This all feels very familiar. Family is huge in the LDS church. So like home decor and kind of family centric messaging that's very Hobby Lobby. And these like welcome signs, home signs, you know, stay a while. This actually is very like Southern Christian, but I mean across the board, um, I think there's something that's very similar between LDS and uh, non LDS Christianity. Not sure what this is like in other areas of the country when it comes to the stuff that they sell, but in Utah especially, you're going to see a lot of stuff um, depicting the plight of the pioneers who left the Midwest and made their way across the plains, across the mountains to settle here. That story and that heritage is significantly important to LDS church members around here. All right, I want to talk for a minute about one of the things that is most missing from anywhere in this store that you would see in a Christian bookstore, and that is the cross. There are no crosses anywhere. I've alluded to this before in other videos, and the answer they give is because um, they would rather focus on the resurrection, and also at the time that the church was established in the mid-1800s, um, there weren't very many churches that actually used the cross. And I think that's true. If you look at old church buildings built in the 1800s, they don't all have crosses on the steeples and some of those things. So that's one thing that's missing that you will see all over a Christian or even a Catholic bookstore. You'd probably see more crucifixes, but zero crosses, zero crucifixes in this store. All right, now I wanna talk about something that's in this store that you would never see in a Christian bookstore. And that is anything pertaining to Joseph Smith. So obviously the LDS Church believes that Joseph Smith was a prophet and a seer and brought new revelation um, that goes beyond the Old Testament and the New Testament. Whereas uh, traditional Christianity, um, I would teach revelation ended at the end of the New Testament. There is no more new revelation and we don't hold the belief that Joseph Smith was a prophet. Probably a good conversation to have. Supplies for the missionaries going door to door in case they need anything. There's some ties, some belts. If you didn't grow up in an LDS context, you're not gonna know who Layman is. Uh, you're not gonna know who Moroni is. One of the things I saw when I was at an LDS bookstore in Ogden a couple months ago is there was a kid begging his mom to, I guess, complete the set of all of his Book of Mormon toys. Uh, I don't have any of these in a non-LDS Christian bookstore. You might not even find a ton of action figures. You'll find board games and cards and calendars, coloring books and stuff like that. I've not seen a ton of like Moses and Abraham and uh, Peter, James and Paul action figures. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Maybe we should get some because I think these are pretty cool. Found more toys. Card games, there are board games, there are puzzles. There's temple 3D puzzles. Leadership in the church of the LDS church is really important. So that's why you've got pictures of the various current leaders. 
Um, the LDS Church believes that whoever is the current president is the reigning prophet, um, that there's always a living prophet who is sort of the head over the church. Um, in the line of, not from a genealogical standpoint, but there's next in line as far as the appointment of another prophet, and that's been the case since Joseph Smith died and Brigham Young took over, and it's continued ever since. Behind me um, are things that I'm still learning about, but they're very much tied to uh, very specific religious rituals that I think take place in the temple. In some Catholic context, there might be certain garments that are used for certain things, but nothing that holds the importance that you'll see in a lot of the garments that are worn either in temple rituals or um, the garments that are worn, um, which we'll talk about in another video, when people are married and they wear uh, the garments tied to the, the covenant of their marriage. That's something I'm still learning about. Huge thank you to Deseret Bookstore in Draper because they were super accommodating, super kind. Um, please like and subscribe and I hope you come back for the next video. So I'll see you later, Saints.